So hello there, my name is Emma and today I will be doing day 27 of this yoga journey that I'm following on YouTube. I recommend you not to follow me because I am not professional. So check the link in my description if you feel like doing this yourself and uh, follow the video that I have linked because that is the video that I am following right now. I just took a shower so my so my hair is a little bit messy. So yeah, today I'm wearing a dress or it's a night dress from Shein. Haven't been wearing it much. Uh, it's a tiny bit too tight uh, in the top area, but it like works anyways. I think it's pretty cute. But I just haven't been wearing it. Like I don't think it was that long ago since I bought it, <laughs> or maybe it was like in the summer or something. <clears throat> but I just haven't been wearing it that much. I don't think. Not a single time since moving here, I don't think, because um, I usually sleep without any clothes or I just sleep in like underwear uh, because it's so warm in my room, there's something wrong with the heater I think. Yeah. And then I'm wearing a pair of pantyhose, which are pretty new. They are from a brand called Durina, I think, if I remember correctly. Maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. Tensies, I don't know what brand, okay. No, not Durina, what am I talking about? I made a, I think I have uploaded a haul. Like in December or something, where I tried it this on. Maybe someone remember that video. I don't know, I think I'm having a small headache right now. Uh, like my head feels a bit foggy or whatever. Um, I see a hair on my own. Did I say that I just took a shower and that is why my hair is looking a bit all over the place maybe? Uh, yeah, I have talked about my shoulder hurting. It's still kind of hurting. <laughs> Did you hear a crack? It's this shoulder. It, can, it kind of hurts on and off. But yeah, I thought that it was because that I did too much yoga and that I maybe had yeah like I have uh, done too much yoga and uh, my shoulder is now hurting from it you know it's not good to do anything too much okay uh, but now today oh it's itchy <laughs> but now today when I was walking home from the grocery store um, my shoulder started hurting again uh, just walking with my bag that I had on my shoulder and then I realized that wait it's probably the pain from my shoulder is probably coming from me always carrying a bunch of kilos of groceries on this shoulder with like and it's not giving the bag is not really giving good support you feel me it's like a thin strap or whatever kind of thin straps weighing on my shoulder so yeah and i as i said i almost always carry the groceries on uh that shoulder so i'm pretty sure now that it is uh not the yoga that has caused the pain in my shoulder it's me uh carrying groceries on the uh, that arm 
every time and yeah my arm is not getting the right support like from the bag that I'm using so it's hurting my shoulder um so yeah when I realized that I'm pretty sure that that is it now okay and that it's not yoga so yeah for the rest of the week now my plan is to only go to the grocery store one more time this week but yeah that time when I go to the, the grocery store and I finish shopping I'm gonna carry the groceries with my other arm okay give uh, this shoulder a rest Yeah, I have been watching, I feel like talking about this. I have been watching uh, another episode of Normal People. I think I watched episode 9 today, if I'm correct. Um, and uh, yeah, it was a sad episode again. I started crying again. I don't think that show is good for me. I take the show too personally or... I don't know, I guess right now, like, I don't know, but it always is like that with me, actually. Especially like when you go to the cinema and you walk out of there, you kind of feel like the person in the movie. <laughs> you have seen a little bit like that. And I do feel the same when I watch TV shows and movies at home, but cinemas is extra special. But yeah, I'm watching that show at home. But I don't know what it is, but like with each episode I'm taking something personally, all of a sudden I feel like I recognize myself or whatever. Uh, like in some way in the episode, not everything. Uh, but yeah, I felt like this episode was pretty sad, okay? So one of the characters were actually in Sweden. Uh, I don't feel like we got that much Swedish culture though. Like, I didn't get a huge feeling that she was in Sweden, but I, that was not the focus, but you feel me? Uh, uh, the funny thing that I felt is that pretty early in the episode, I think, they were like recording some beautiful scenes like it was a city where it was a lot of snow like the roads were covered in snow and the show is based uh, mostly in Ireland um, and all of that snow like the series jumps like all the time like a few months go and all of a sudden we see them there and then another few months go you feel me so I thought that, hey, it must be like winter time, but seeing all of that snow and everything, it did not, like, I don't know how it is in the winter in Ireland, but I just, just seeing that city covered in snow, I did not get the feeling that she were, or she were, or like that the show was recording a place in Ireland, okay? Um, and... <laughs> It made me think of Sweden, like this feels Swedish 
sheet where this feels like it could be more of a Nordic country, the way they, like how things are looking. I could not see anything clearly that looks Swedish, like a sign or whatever, but just how the amount of snow and how things were looking a little bit, okay? Um, it made me think of Sweden or like the Nordic weather and the funny thing is that I'm a little bit over winter. I, uh, I want spring to come, but uh, yeah, I think uh, here in Sweden we are going to have to wait another month or two before spring starts to arrive. I think there's still a risk of snow coming again. Uh, but yeah, just seeing those scenes of the, of the snow, it made me think for a second that, oh my god, that is so beautiful. Um, even though I don't want snow right now, it just looked beautiful. And then all of a sudden, they mention that one of the characters is in Sweden. And I thought, I thought, just thought that that was so funny, okay, so there must have been something, like, no, just seeing all of that snow and the environment, it just made me th think of, like, Swedish winter, it just made me feel like they are, this does not feel like Ireland or, like, the typical setting we have seen so far in this show. And, like, a part of me, the feeling that I had about that, seeing all of that snow in that scene, was right, because that was recorded in Sweden. <laughs> um, I think, again, I could not see like a huge sign that she was in Sweden. I didn't see like a building or anything that I recognized. And I did not see a Swedish sign or anything. Maybe it wasn't recorded in Sweden. Maybe it was recorded in Ireland, but they just used like maybe a scene from Sweden. I don't know, okay. There were just, from what I can remember, I just saw one scene where there were someone working, they were at the caf cafe, and then one of the people working at the cafe, I think, asked if she could, like, take away their stuff or something. And then she spoke perfectly Swedish. But, like, she's dating a guy in Sweden in that episode, and... Uh, I guess he kind of looked like a Swedish guy, <laughs> kind of, like when it comes to style and stuff like that. But him talking, I could not hear a Swedish accent when he was talking, really. Even when he, the only Swedish word he said was absolute, absolute which, me, which means absolutely. But in the, he said it in at the cafe, I don't know, okay? I didn't think that it sounded 100% like with a Swedish accent when he said absolute. And then also, like in that situation when that person spoke Swedish to him, like asking a question and he answered, I don't remember if it was that if they wanted more coffee or if it was that she could take away their stuff from the table. But also saying absolute in that moment, Maybe I heard wrong, but I just did not get the feeling that absolute, absolute or absolutely is the word that I would have used in that situation either, okay? But yeah, uh, the person working at the cafe did at least sound very Swedish like when she asked the question, okay? But I'm starting to wonder if the guy that she was dating, if he really was Swedish. Like, I don't know, I was a little bit excited that uh, <laughs> I wanted to hear a Swedish accent, okay? Or them speaking Swedish a little bit more. But I know the show is not about that. Uh, but otherwise, uh, let's just forget about her being in Sweden, okay? The episode uh, was very sad, I think, okay? No, I felt like I could relate a little bit to that episode. Like her feeling the way she was feeling. And I just felt really 
really, really sad about the situation she was in in that episode. Made me feel really sorry for her. But in the end of the episode, it seemed like she um, uh, had enough of the situation she was in. Uh, and she walked away, kind of, from the situation. Uh, so I'm hoping that here on forth in the series that she will not go back to having those feelings of that she feels that she deserves pain or no why is it doing this like this has been working fine and then all of a sudden the, these last couple of yoga videos on and off the video just stops and i don't know where we are in the video how long have we are laying down so i'm guessing that the yoga is done pretty soon i have been recording for 16 minutes i think this yoga session was not longer than like 18 minutes so yeah, you know what, I'm gonna end it here, ending it, the yoga session like two minutes earlier. But it is what it is, okay, when you don't have great internet, but I just think it's weird, okay, because I feel like this is a period of my TV acting up, because I don't feel like my TV has been doing this while I have been watching YouTube late, like uh, these this last couple of months, okay, I feel like it's doing it a lot. Like since two weeks back or something. Um, but yeah, my TV has been like this before that it loses internet connection. But I'm just saying that it was some time ago since my TV had a period like this when it lost its internet connection. Um, but yeah, no, that's annoying. But at least I got to almost finish the yoga session. So how was it? I guess I was talking most of the time. My mind was somewhere else. and. As I said, I feel like I have a little bit of a headache going on. Uh, and then watching that episode of Normal People and like crying. And I still feel a bit of that sadness in me. Like feeling a tiny bit more empty than I want to feel. But I'm trying to tell myself that that is not how you should feel now, I'm okay? You feel that way because you're watching that show. Okay, you did not feel that way before you watched that show. Like, I'm almost afraid of watching the... Like, I really want to watch the next episode, you feel me? Is what I'm feeling in my body. But at the same time, I'm so scared about how I am going to feel. How down am I going to feel during this episode or after this episode, okay? Yeah, that show is an emotional roller coaster. I'm telling you. But it's addicting at the same time, okay? But yeah, yeah, leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this yoga video. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok, my name is the same there, and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss out on when I upload any videos. I hope you all are having a great day. See you next time. Bye bye.